just harvested some spinach from my garden and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to cook it fresh so I'm going to have to store it away in my freezer. We're going out of town and this just happens sometimes that I can't use whatever I've harvested from my garden. I always like to keep my plants harvested so it promotes growth with the plant and so I tend to do this kind of thing more often in the summer because we are we travel a lot more in the summer with the kids on family vacations and that kind of thing. Um, I thought it would be a good video to share with you so that you can see how I put up vegetables in times like this. Now I use my freezer a lot for a lot of things and one of them is storing my fresh vegetables. I not only do spinach this way, but I also do things like kale, broccoli, um, green beans, and I'll include a link here. I did a video earlier, I think last year, on how I did my green beans. So you should really do uh, just about any vegetable that you're going to put up this way. And the reason why is because it will stop um, an enzyme in the vegetable that will rot your vegetable. So you can, if you just put them straight away into your freezer without blanching them first, they will become slimy um, when you pull them out. <laughs> They'll be real gooey. So you will want to make sure to blanch them first. So I highly recommend that you store any kind of vegetables that you don't think you're going to be able to cook within a few days. Just go ahead and put them in your freezer for later use. I will use this spinach when we get back from traveling. I'll use it to put in maybe just some spaghetti sauce for the kids. Um, it'll be fine for maybe some spinach already choked in. There's a lot of things I can use it for when it's been blanched and frozen. So maybe I'll do one of those recipes for you when I get back. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you here how I would blanch this. It's just like I do my green beans. I just thought I would do a more updated ver version so you guys could see um, how I do it. So first you'll start by washing your spinach. And I like to use the top, um, the cover part of a cake plate with the cover. <laughs> just turn it upside down and that's what I wash all my vegetables in. It is great and so I suggest you use that if you have one. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get my ice water started for the blanching process. And I like to use a pasta pot. If you don't have a pasta pot, just use a saucepan and then put you a colander down on top of that. This just makes it easier to remove the vegetables. Now just for the fun of it, I wanted to go ahead and weigh um, how much spinach I had and it looks like this came out to be just about three quarters of a pound, just a little over. And then, so the first thing I need to do is trim my spinach. You can trim off your stems if you like, and I'll just show you how I'm doing that there. And, but what I always do with my greens is I like to just pull out the center vein So this is how I do it. I just kind of fold my leaf and pull it backwards. It comes out so much easier when you pull it out the back side of the leaf versus the front side. So I do everything that way, but my kale, my cabbage, lettuce, I'm just not a stem person. Um, that's just personal preference. You trim it however you want to. Now my stems ended up weighing uh, just over two ounces. Now you'll have to get your blanching station ready. You'll have your spinach, your ice cold water, and then just a pot of boiling water. It has to be at a rolling boil. And you want to get a slotted spoon or of some sort. So I'm going to um, do this in small batches. I'm just going to go ahead and start boiling the spinach. And I'm going to put this in real time here so you can see just how long I leave it in the hot water. I don't leave it in there very long. As a matter of fact, I just kind of look at the color to determine when I should pull it out. I just want it to get, um, develop a bright green color and then I'll pull it right out and put it in the ice water. The ice water is going to stop the cooking process. So you want to make sure that that ice water is very, very cold because your vegetables are very, very hot. And if you're doing a lot of vegetables this way, you're going to have to continually um, ice down your water so that it stays real cold because that water is going to start to get warm the more vegetables that you do. Since I'm doing a small batch, this is all I need. So once you've done all that, you'll just drain out your spinach. I could just pull this pasta pot up and then it will come out that way too. But I found that it's easier with my leafy greens like spinach to just put, pull them out and put them in a colander. 
So I like to use the pasta pot because it keeps the spinach separated from the ice cubes. When you go to pull out your spinach leaves, you'll pull out ice cubes if it's not separated. So this just makes that process a little bit easier. Now we'll drain the water and I am just going to squeeze it out. And I thought I would go ahead and weigh it again just to kind of compare the weights before blanching and after blanching. So right there, the bag itself weighed a quarter of an ounce. And now I ended up with about seven ounces of spinach. So I'm just going to squeeze out the air out of the bag there. It's going straight into the freezer and I'll use it when I get back from my trip. So hopefully this helps and thanks so much for watching.